this is the best tournament I have ever played. All the players are very competitive. I'm just leaving it all on the line. I need to play every single game like there's no tomorrow. I'm just here to create a name for myself. However you finish right now is going to be in your head for the whole entire offseason. I'm going to do my best. I would love to win the tournament. It's all of our last dance this year. Oh, that's magnificent. <laughs> that is incredible. This is dope. Pick up Nelson all the odds. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! This is so heavy. Oh, brilliant! This tournament's come at exactly the right time. Nadal, Federer, Djokovic. We've got some of the greatest players of all time. There's an awareness from the ATP that that's not going to last forever. A couple of years ago, the ATP came up with what I think is a fantastic idea. The next gen ATP finals, there's a couple of main ideas behind hosting this event the second year, here in 2018. We wanted to try various new things in the sports. We wanted to showcase the newest talent. There's 21 and under players. It's the race to Milan and there'll be the top seven players that have accumulated the most points from week one to the week 45. And there is one extra spot which goes to the best player from the Italian qualifying event. And the second element is the innovation part of it. Playing best of five sets with first of four games with a tiebreak at three all. Reduced warm up, shot clock, no lets. There's a lot of deciding points in games, there's a lot of tie breaks. We have Hawkeye Live, so no line judges. It's very, very intense. Visually, it's a phenomenal event. Great crowds. Incredible tennis. Emotions riding high. Gives the players a taste that, yeah, I like this. I like playing a special tournament. We look forward to developing this event bigger and bigger and bigger, so it becomes something that everyone talks about. Winning here would be a huge thing for whoever the champion ends up being. We saw last year with Hyung Chung, it was a career week for him really, he had never won a title on tour and he went on and made the semi-finals of the Aussie Open. We got seven guys again in, in the top 100 and then the Italian wild card. For the fans coming through the door here in Milan, they're watching some of the best players in the world already. You've got the best 21 and under players there. They're going to be pumped for it. The older guys are probably thinking, hold on a minute, what's going on here? This younger generation, they seem a little more fearless. Great attitude. Every point he's out there fist pumping. Big game, hits the ball really hard. Just full on, 100% every point, every match, and no holding back. He's got very good technique, big serve. Without question, his athleticism and his movement are, I think, his two best assets. Plays with so much heart, passion, persistence, desire. Another very charismatic player. He goes on court thinking that he can always win. The next generation is a great generation. I'm feeling excited. We were waiting for this moment since January, so we're feeling really excited to be here and to compete with these guys. See your camera. <laughs> I finally, finally get over here. I don't have to talk about it. It's good. I'm ready for a good week. I hope all the guys are ready for a fun week and obviously win some matches, but you know, I'm just kind of just enjoy the last week of the season. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Great year, my best year on tour so far. Um, finished around 40. I won a title. Made a final. Got to third round of a major. I, you know, did did some things I, you know, never done before. <laughs> my game's definitely you know, starting to fall in place. Definitely starting to be more well-rounded, mentally especially. Really knowing what makes me, you know, tick. 
How do you bring your best level each and every day? How do you motivate yourself to do things you don't want to do? I want to be the best tennis player I can be. I hate to lose. I want to win, you know, just like he does, just like everybody else does on tour. Everybody wants to be on the top. Everybody wants to be you know, holding big trophies, winning the big events, playing in packed crowds. That's what you live for. That's why you put in the time. Everything's all worth it in the end. It wasn't even easy to make it this year, and I had a hell of a season, so it's an honor to be even be here. We just go out and have some fun. It's all of our last dance. This is maybe the best tournament I have ever played, so I'm feeling so good. These guys are very, very competitive, and you have to be very prepared to be here and to compete against them. When I go out, my main goal is to fight every ball, every point. My coaches are pushing me very hard. They're just trying one by one to get my better version. Spanish people, uh, I think they have that kind of fight spirit, so it, this is important. I'm from Mallorca also, I have Rafa in front. He's a big guy to watch. He's just speaking to me like, I have to go forward to dream about gay goals, and, and then let's see where can I get, but the most important thing is to work as hard as I can. Ferrer was an idol for me uh, since I was young, for me and for Spanish players. I think in Roland Garros, two sets, two zero down, and then I got that comeback. It was very important for me to realize that I was ready to fight against anyone. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm going to work on my weaknesses. I own that spot. My dad was a maintenance worker at an academy. He was able to get me and my twin brother out there for free because he pretty much helped build the place literally in um, 99 when it opened. Me and my twin brother kind of you know, came there every day after school and I kind of just started playing tennis. Well, this is dope. They sacrificed a lot. My mom, you know, working, you know, double, double shifts of being a nurse, uh, wasn't home much. Obviously, we spent a lot of time in the courts because of that. Definitely taught me hard work. If you want something, you go do it. If you truly believe in something, you know, dream big. Benedetta, you want to go see some tennis? <laughs> some tennis, you want to go see? Tennis matches, yeah. The top tennis players, yeah. Come here and win it. That's the ultimate approach, but obviously, it's been a long year. I really want to enjoy this week. Whatever happens, you can definitely see me and smile on my face. Yeah, I'm just going to be vibing and having a good time. <laughs> Last year was quite good for me. It was many up and downs. I didn't play for half of the tour this season. And health, I think I feel good. No pain, zero pains. I hope everything okay. The main things in tennis is physical and mental. The problem is for me to get stronger physical. And this is one big thing that we are working on. Compared to last year, I'm much better mentally, but still there's way, way to improve. I was feeling good. I remember that I was playing better than him. I was winning set. I was starting for another set. I had break points to broke him. I was controlling the match till the moment I get mentally broken. He was always there, he was strong mentally, and in the end, in one moment, he changed everything. I know how it feels to lose the final, and I know how I was feeling before the tournament. I don't want to feel this stress to get crazy with this thinking. I have good shots. This is my advantage compared to other players, that I can play really high speed and I can control this speed. I'm going to do my best to win the, the tournament, and I would love to win the tournament. I'm off playing another year by about 10 days. Born just a little later, I could play next year, but 
yeah, this is my one chance I'm looking to, looking to win. It's been my best year on tour so far. A lot of matches maybe I could have won that I didn't, but then also a lot of matches I probably shouldn't have won that I did. Top 50 for the first time, which was a, a goal of mine. I'm here, which was a goal of mine. <laughs> Every win's a win for the family. It's been tough to manage the travel and the non-court time, but I'm doing the best I can. I have an amazing family, and I just look forward to spending all the time I can with them. It keeps me grounded and also something to motivate me when I'm on the road. I think my biggest asset is probably my mind, how I, how I play big points. My mental toughness is something that's gotten me really far, and it's one of the reasons why I'm here. It's the final stretch, the last thing. However you finish right now is going to be in your head for the whole entire offseason. If you look at the next gen just from last year, almost all the guys are in the top 20 now. Next gen is be becoming the actual future of tennis. That's my deck bag. All the technology is there. I'm thinking of becoming a minimalist. <laughs> it's just way too many cameras I carry with me. Nice. It was obviously very tough because there was eight guys competing for the same thing. There was just one spot available. It was an amazing feeling. I've worked pretty much my whole life to get to here. I'm just really happy I was able to come through in the, in the clutch moment. I was born in Rome. I lived in Italy until I was six years old, and that's when I moved to the US. But my roots are here in Italy. My grandparents live here. There's a lot of pressure. I'm super pumped to play in front of this crowd. I love playing in front of crowds. I'm really gonna enjoy it and uh, try to give them a show. This is the biggest tournament that I'm going to play. I'm just here to compete my hardest and create a name for myself. That is incredible. A fine performance from the second seed, Alex Divinor. Raise the sharp one, rock solid. I never thought it would happen. Start of the year, ranked outside 200, and where I am right now, it's been a year full of highs. I've played some of my best tennis and been able to back it up week after week and just been enjoying the ride. I definitely have to do a lot of running and scrapping on court. I've started to take way more seriously working with psychologists. Oh my goodness! The mind is one of the most important things out there and I like to go out there every single time and fight until the end, until the last point and, and never give up. Nothing's changed. I'm just the same kid chasing a yellow ball around. That's something that uh, I don't think will ever change. After I'm done, it's got all my body warm. See, I've pretty much melted all the ice. Should be like a long bar. It would really mean the world. One of the goals at the start of the year was to make this tournament. And to be able to finish the year with the win here, that would be the best way to finish.
it's going to be great matches and great fights. I have no doubt that tennis is going to go from strength to strength simply because of the talent that these guys that you're going to see here tonight and during the week in Milan. These guys are going to be global superstars and the future of tennis really is now. I want to achieve much more. I'm trying to work on the mental side to stay calm, focusing obviously on the next point every time. Go. Oh. On the tour level, there are not that many chances. <laughs> you have to make the right decision and play as best as you can. Oh. <laughs> Three tries, is good? Roland Garros was an important tournament for me. And I won a round and play tight match against Marin Cilic. That gave me a boost of confidence, so I'm looking for the next boost of confidence, <laughs> maybe here. This is so heavy. No, oh, this is so far. <laughs> When you're out here on the tour, a lot of it is just always tennis. So it's always good to do different things and try to get your mind off things, relax and get ready for Tuesday. For sure, it's important to have moments like this before a tournament starts. A bit of relaxation, a bit of you know, trying different clothes, clothes that I'm not used to on, uh, wearing. Let's get one on. Here we are. Oh my God, oh, look at Fritz. Oh my God, look at Fritz. It makes it a lot better that I got friends here and we're all having a good time and you know, it's gonna be fun. We all start playing tomorrow. Oh, so far right now. Me and Taylor are all very good friends. We've known him forever pretty much. Deep is pretty pretty chill as well. We got to spend more time with him this year, had unbelievable year. And then so is TC Boss and I, I really like him as well. Great, great group of guys. <laughs> oh, I love the sport from the very beginning. I give my soul, I give my heart on the court. I do feel comfortable from everywhere. My mother and my dad were a major inspiration for me to play tennis. Everybody was watching football. <laughs> so I, I said, I'm gonna play tennis. One of my goals was to win an ATP title. The joy that I felt and the happy moments that I went through after this victory were just amazing, outrageous. I received a message from the Prime Minister and lots of congratulations. People actually started watching on TV. They would never watch tennis. Now it's one of their biggest sports, let's say, most uh, watched sports in, in Greece. I'm proud that I have a nation behind me supporting me and giving me all this courage. I would never imagine that I would be in the top 15 uh, at the end of the year. This match against Novak Djokovic that I played. Oh, yes gave me a good idea of who I am and what my game is capable of. I uh, have, in my opinion, one of the most aggressive, most powerful forehands. I'm never afraid to hit it. It's another day to remember for Stefano Tsitsipas. I need to be passionate when I play and play every single game like there's no tomorrow. I would probably say it's going to be the best end of the year, holding the trophy at the end and being crowned as the champion of the next-gen uh, finals. Most of those guys can all hit a tennis ball, go and watch them on the practice court. You can barely tell any difference between them all. But when it comes to crunch, when they're playing on these big arenas, 10,000, 15,000 people watching, their break point down or they're in a deciding tie break, I believe the most important thing is self-belief. The mental side will decide whether they're winning those big titles or not. We're back in Milan for the second staging of the next-gen ATP Finals, where eight young stars of the game are ready to entertain us for the next five days. Oh, he's missed it. Muna can't believe it, and it's victory for the Greek. That's great anticipation from Fritz, and he has just stolen that point.
receive. And he seals the victory. We have our first semi-finalist. an electric backhand. Wow. No way. Just an incredible shot of tennis. Oh, brilliant. Six of us ends the group stages with a perfect record. Alex Dimon de Menor takes on Joao Munar, while it's Stefano Tsitsipas up against Andrei Rublev. Oh, yes. Big time from Steph Tsitsipas. The Australian levels things up. What a way to come through that game. Is it meant to be? And fourth set, Muna. Ribbet strikes. It's just wide. It's another stunner from Sitsipas. The Australian wins a five set thriller to reach the final in Milan. Stimanor and Stefano Tsitsipas will go head to head in this year's next gen finals. I have played such incredible tennis throughout the whole week, and now I'm going to make sure I give it all I've got. I think I deserve my spot here. Hopefully, I can play the best tennis that I've played this week. I expect a big fight, but I'll have to start dynamic and have my mind in every single point. It's a big game. He's a very high quality opponent and has been playing some great tennis this year. Whoever plays better today will go away with the win. You've got to serve well. I'm the number one seed. The expectations are a bit higher than usual. I'm ready to win. Uh, that's why I'm in the final and that's why I also want to finish the year in the best possible way. I'm just looking forward to going out there, having some fun and just leaving it all on the line. It's the number one versus the number two seed. It sets a pass against Domenor. Oh, some nice feel. It was an impressive set of tennis. That was missed out. Oh, it sets a pass, does break. It's a big relief after the match. Moment of relief, moment of happiness, 
moment of appreciation for me. My dad has helped a lot this year, my mom as well. I appreciate all the support this week because you made me stronger. We had some great match against one another. I feel great that I'm able to win against them now. I'm so excited for 2019. It's been an insane week. Playing here, it's been a really cool event. It's special to be here. It's unbelievable place to play. I do love all of you.